Hi there, welcome to another Bridge Right video. Today we're going to be doing this driveway. It's a block paint driveway, so stay tuned. Right, here we are then. We didn't hit it, but we found it. See this water pipe there? That's about 300 mil below ground, and it should be 750. Welsh Water are parked just by there, and the lads just come up now. And he said to me that that pipe in there should be seven seven fifty below ground, which was my thinking of it as well. It's not, so there we are. It's going to slow us down now, but it is what it is. Still tracking this water pipe. It goes up here, and eventually it's going to go up there and in the stop cock in there. But we're going to put this board on there now, so when the grab wagon takes that, hopefully you don't go through the uh, water pipe. So Fraser just here, just taking out the rest of the uh, path and looking for that water pipe that we haven't found underneath there quite yet. Grab wagon was a success. Didn't go through the water pipe, those boards held up. Really good idea for that. We sprayed it out with a blue line just to identify it so we couldn't go through it, tracking over it with a digger. And this is the side section, the boys digging out for the uh, additional patio coming off the uh, driveway. Yeah, this pillow uh, was loose, so we decided to take it down, uh, put new concrete in. Uh, later on, you'll see it rebuilt. Razor just showing you how wobbly and defective it is. Yeah, we put um, insulation over the water pipe just to stop it from freezing, because it is high to the ground. So that was a good idea. And then we covered it then with the... Uh, some sharp sand so when we put our stone over the top it doesn't puncture the pipe also decided to put the uh to ram down the weed membrane some soft ground and we didn't want the uh, mot ingressing into the soft ground and that kind of stops it and firms up the base because it was uh, even though we dug down over 300 mil we were still on uh, a little bit of a soft footing so there we go concrete's in as well for the new brick pillar Yeah, it was important that we just put um, 100 mil down in on top of the uh, terrain there, as you can see, whack it, and then this big pile that goes in on top for the uh, second layer of the MOT. So yeah, it's really important you whack it in layers, especially when you're working on clay um, and, and any material really. You, you really want the, uh, the base to be compacted in 100 mil layers to give it its uh, maximum potential to uh, to firm up and compact for you which is uh, really important when you're doing these driveways and as you can see we wouldn't have it any other way it's absolutely soaking the welsh weather didn't let us down it poured down the whole time we did this job nothing unusual there eh so there we go all the stone is in all done, all compacted, and just to prove how wet it was, that's, that's Fraser's jacket after the day, dripping there on the gate. <laughs> so this is Frey, he's setting up the uh, the string lines for the driveway, uh, just trying to get that line level. Um, and what we'll do now, we'll set up another string line, you can see it there, just coming down towards the, uh, the end of the driveway, next to the pavement, there's that pink line there, all important. And then we just measure from the pink line down to uh, get our levels. You're looking for 100 mil, the uh, 50 mil for your sand, and then uh, 50 mil for your actual paving. And why are you doing that by hand, Justin? And Fraser, he's a digger. There we go. So just grading this now, just using the digger to get the correct levels to exactly where we want them. Can't rush this bit. Got to get it exactly right. And there you'll see Fraser putting the level down. So we're looking for level from left to right. So he's just checking my handiwork, see if my grading technique has, uh, has worked. And then once you're happy, 
with the levels, measuring down off those lines, whack it, and you need to whack it up, down, left, right, and then diagonally as well. And don't forget, really important, whack it in those layers. Here's the 6mm stone. Uh, we didn't use sharp sand because the conditions were really, really wet. It would just whack completely the bog down in it. We find the 6 mil chipping is uh, is a heck of a lot better than uh, than using the sharp, sharp sand. It, it, it's more durable. It doesn't wash away. It's easier to screed. Um, but we just feel the job's a better job with using it, and you can use it when it's uh, in, in wet conditions as well. So it ticks all those boxes. So again, Fraser's just trying to get those levels correct. He's instructing me where he wants me to put it. And he'll just rake it all out and get it to where it needs to go. There we go, Fraser's measuring. He's looking for about um, 45 mil. The paving's 50 mil, so if you get 45 mil and then you whack it, you're looking for it to go down about 5 mil then. Just so you know, we've put spacers um, on the string lines, raise them up by about 10 mil as well for compaction at the end. There we go. He's very strictly telling me there where he wants it. I need it to get more in to use it up there. And he's just telling me, get off that. Put it back, what are you doing? So we didn't need it, and then whack this section again. The six mil chipping, up, down, left, right, diagonally. You can't whack it enough. Whack, whack, whack. And there we go, Fraser's just showing you how bad that wall is. We did say to the customer about a place that they did want, it was about 80 mil out of plan. There's the pillar, new concrete fitted, uh, and obviously new brickwork and the pillar placed back on top. You had to put drainage down on the right hand side, where I'm pointing to now, um, just to get rid of the water so it angles away from the house. We're just topping up the levels on the driveway now. We, we did have to change that path for the levels. And this is our probes screeding, uh, little screeding machine that we've got. Really, really good. It's effortless to pull the, uh, the material up there rather than going on your hands and knees. So if you're doing it professionally, then uh, it's a really, really good machine if you're doing a lot of uh, block cleaning. Anything those young, youngsters can do, I can do as well. Not. <laughs>
don't hit it too hard, Freddy will have those keyboard warriors, you can set them off. So here, Freddy's is just trying to get the pavia to sit on top of the rail and then touching the top of the line like that. And if you haven't got a probe, then you're not professional and you don't want to pay 600 quid for them, you can just simply use a level. Obviously, Dayton's doing nothing. Sat there in the bar row as usual. So yeah, six foot level on a straight edge, really easy to screen this six mil chipping. So just fill in where your rails have been, put the ten mil the other six mil chip in and just compact it down with the top of your trowel like Fraser's showing you there. Now you can get on and lay your paving, me and Fraser take your in turns. And this is a, a Marshall's Tegular paving system that we're installing here, three different sizes. Really, really nice actually. This is just for the border, they just cut that out, mark it, and that's what it looks like. Then we've uh, laid it, nice straight cutting line, well done, freight. Don't bright sand at the end, brush it into the joints and uh, Final compaction. So same thing with the wacker plate, up, down, left, right, the diagonals. Uh, what we do is you leave a load of sand on top as you can see so the wax plate doesn't actually mark the paving. You could use a rubber shield at the bottom of your wax plate but we find that this is a more effective way to do it. Even the camera's being whacked, yeah, it's vibrating like crazy. So just finish up by brushing all the sand into the joints because the wacker plate will, uh, you know, we will loosen the sand up a little bit. Just get it all in as Fraser is showing you there. Use the brush up, down, left, right. Get it all into the joints and then just brush off the residue. Use your blower to soften the tarmac. Put it into place.
I'm blessed and lucky to work with my two sons, and I both deserve a kiss off the old man. There we go, driveway done. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget, many more videos to come. Thank you, see you on the next one, cheers.